So, people have asked uh, how I can switch so quickly from being as extremely Mormon as I was to being as um, skeptical as I am now. I, uh, huh, I don't know. I think that's a question I'm, I'm kind of trying to figure out too. So let me see uh, what theory I might have to answer this question. Um, for one thing, I actually uh, many of the many of the questions that I now have about the church uh, have kind of been piling up over the years, and I just set them aside. I've watched God's Army, and in God's Army, one of the missionaries mentioned actually a few things that are anti-Mormon literature, um, which in my opinion is really just people that try to uncover truth about Mormon history that, that the church itself doesn't want people to know because it's not exactly favorable. Um, so I mean I watched the show and for example one of the things mentioned is that Joseph Smith gave several different accounts of the first vision. So the first vision is where Joseph Smith saw God and Jesus Christ, uh, allegedly, and uh, and it's true. There are, there are different accounts. This is one thing that um, you know I kind of just brushed aside as, oh, you know maybe they're just slightly different versions because he um, was telling different audiences. Of course, I never thought to look up what the different versions were and how they were different. Um, I just kind of trusted that what the church taught was true. And this is the way it was with, with, with many things. You know, somebody would bring up a question about the church or, um, you know, maybe raise a point that might cause one to doubt Mormonism. And, uh, and I'd just dismiss it as um, anti-Mormon literature or, or, you know, just as a misunderstanding about, about my faith. And, uh, and that was good enough for me until, well, until I really wanted to know. I really wanted to know and, and studied it and looked into, looked into church history and found that, um, that, I mean, I knew Joseph Smith had multiple wives. I didn't know exactly how many. I knew he had many. I didn't know that some of them were teenagers, and I didn't know that his first wife, Emma, was unaware of any of them. I, I thought that she was in the know. I thought that he uh, told her what he was doing. I didn't think that he was doing it all behind her back, which I think is rather underhanded. Um, I looked at the Book of Abraham. I always thought the Book of Abraham was an inspired uh, translation, and it turns out that uh, these scrolls that Joseph Smith allegedly took the Book of Abraham from, uh, really are just um, common burial uh, records, you know, just common items that are buried with, with people when they're entombed. And, uh, you know, that, that, didn't, that didn't make any sense. Uh, the records that, uh, that he translated, that he allegedly translated, um, had had absolutely nothing to do with Abraham or or Christianity at all. Uh, it was just Egyptian gods and Egyptian burial rites. Uh, okay, so I'm not going to list everything. I I found lots of things that um, uh, that made it so that I feel like I could no longer, in good conscience, be a member of the LDS Church, um, nor can I reasonably believe its doctrine. Um, in order to believe its doctrine, I'd have to suspend reason, which, uh, which I, just, I just can't do. I'm, I'm, I'm a very logical person, and I rely on logic so much that I, I, I'm incapable of... Uh, of going against my reason that that strongly, um, those those people that do, you know, that's that's fine. They're they're different. Everybody's different. Um, not everybody 
relies on logic as, as heavily as I do, and that's it's not necessarily a bad thing. We have different kinds of people in the world for for good reason. Make the world a better place by having lots of different perspectives. Um, I, uh, being raised Mormon, I think I grew to love the church. Well, I know I grew to love the church. I think that I will always have a, have a soft spot in my heart for well, certainly for Mormons, since I have so many loved ones that are Mormon, um, but I think also for Mormonism itself, I I think uh, I learned many good things from being a Mormon and being raised Mormon, and uh, and it has um, it has much to contribute to the world. The Mormon Tabernacle Choir is very very beautiful. I I love their voices. I love their talent and uh, and I have a few of their albums and I, and I love listening to them just the other day I was listening to some online uh, some of their YouTube videos that uh, I think they're unofficial anyway uh, I I don't I don't see myself ever entirely losing the the love that I have for my Mormon heritage. Um, I understand some people uh, do become very, very bitter toward uh, a religion when they decide to leave that religion or doubt it. Um, you know, and, and I understand why. It makes sense. Um, I uh, I can't say I I don't have any I can't say I don't have any negative feelings toward the church. I I certainly regret. Uh, I mean, I regret having used it as a tool to judge people for so long. Um, I, re I resent the church uh, bullying people and, and, and trying to um, manipulate people and, and to tell them how to leave, live their lives. I don't, I don't think it's the church's place to um, enforce policies such as uh, banning gay marriage um, at the state level or at the federal level uh, or at any government for that matter. I, I don't think that the church is very tolerant toward people of other, of differing beliefs. I think they do a very good job of trying to strong arm other people into um, following the same standards they have. They're very quick to judge people with different standards. Um, and I mean the church itself. I think the saying, the church is perfect but its members aren't, is, is backward. I think, in my opinion, it's actually the church itself that's bad and, and the members in it that are good. Um, all, of the, all of the Mormons that I know personally, uh, well, almost all of them, are very good people. And uh, my, my family... Of course, they're very nice, loving people. I love them very much. Um, and virtually all of the, um, the members that I know here in, in Knoxville, uh, I would say that, uh, that they're very nice, kind, loving, compassionate people. So I think the saying's backward. I think that it's the members that are good and the, and the church that's bad. The church is what teaches people that it's okay to discriminate, that it's okay to use the church's authority, the church's strength, to politically bully minority groups such as um, the queer community. Um, I, I don't think that's moral. I don't think it's helpful in the community. And I, I don't think it's in accordance with freedom of religion. 
Um, I think it's trying to impose one religion on everybody. That's that's theocracy, not democracy. Um, so yeah, there are things about the church that I, I think should change. There are things that that I don't like, things that uh, I feel are, are evil or immoral, um, things that I think are um, bad. But uh, I, I don't want to become what I'm fighting against, so I'm not going to judge the church simply because parts of it are bad. The church does, um, does produce very beautiful buildings, very beautiful temples, very um, beautiful music, and, uh, and there are things that the church teaches that are good. The church does teach love and compassion, and, uh, and I think what's for me, the wisest thing to do is to judge um, people and organizations by their fruits, as it says in the Bible. You judge, judge something by, judge someone by their actions. So um, that's what I mean to do. So every action that I see that is good, I'll uh, praise, and every action that I see that's bad, I will, I will condemn. So anyway, um, that's briefly my, my thoughts about the church, how I feel about the church, and uh, I'll probably talk a lot more about this topic, but, uh, but that's basically how I think I switched so fast from um, believing in the church fully to doubting the church fully as, as I finally questioned it and studied it. and. Um, and looked into my own heart and decided how I personally felt and not how the prophet wanted me to feel or other members of the church wanted me to feel about how I felt. So um, thanks for tuning in again. I hope to see you again soon.